Hi everybody and welcome to Fortress Craft Evolved Season 2 Hard Mode 64 bit. We are now on episode 17. That means we've been playing the game for 17 hours and we are currently doing the most laborious job ever of making conveyor belts. And we are roughly near enough done. We should get the conveyor belts done um, this episode, hopefully. And as normal, we are going to go around and collect all our ore samples so we can start working on the building of the uh, conveyors. Okay, so. Um, first of all, instead of me jumping over everything all the time, I'm going to cut this corner off just a tad. Okay, like so. And we are going to start smelting some, I believe we've got enough tin. And then we're going to go and get the copper. Oh, it looks like I actually took out a window there. Let's put that window back. <coughs> now, for all of you that are regular watchers, um, I will try and find it again, but I actually watched a Fortress Craft interview with one of the um, moderators no not Monterey, it is the developers of the game and according to that interview um, we're going to be getting a space station that we're going to be aiming for and some nice goodies like that so that sounds really interesting um, so if anyone does find the link before I can post it then do leave a link and uh, we'll get posted so you can go watch it you know, so because it was really interesting to watch. Uh, what have we got? Six yet? Right, we're going to go and mine some more, some more copper. Because obviously we want, we want lots and lots and lots of it. I'm not going to go and bother with the iron just yet because uh, we've got enough iron at the moment, and we will be concentrating on getting the conveyor belts. Once we've got the conveyor belts done. Um, it's going to be really quite quickly to go and start getting stuff um, quite easily because let's face it once everything starts to get automated it um, works really really nicely now as you can see Arthur is keeping us powered at the moment so we are getting quite a nice big chunk um, of power at the moment from Arthur so that should give us quite a nice bit out of this um, out of this uh, little bit of mine in here. Can't quite see what he's doing. Oh, he's now down to twelve percent. Okay, so I think we'll leave it there. How are we doing on the coal on this? Okay, we've still got thirty-two coal, so it's all going good. We'll take that as well. Let's give us 173 copper all together, so that's near enough two lots. How are we doing on this? Okay, that's all done. We're going to put the copper in there because that gives us six more. And while that is smelling, I am going to go and have a quick... No, I'm not going to go for the iron. We're going to go for the power. And we are going to go and get some tin. So, fair is fair, we did the copper. Now we're going to go and do the tin. So, as you can see, as the ore is mined, it changes density by going less and less of the actual ore colour to more darker colour 
which is, which is nice because you can see then which way things are going you know so it, it just makes it a little bit nicer but yeah we would like to uh, get on with this because we do want the macerator um, not found anything else that we can do yet to go and get um, the extra points we need to get the mass rate started so unfortunately that's going to be a bit of a pain but we will get there we will get the mass rate going because when we've got the mass rate going we're going to get some bits and pieces out of it that we might not um, otherwise get you know and of course we've We've got to find out where our gold is again because we, we did find gold. <laughs> and of course we've got to get lithium going because if we don't get lithium going we're not really going to um, be uh, doing enough stuff. Okay, so unfortunately that was iron. I thought we had copper going there and not iron. So obviously that's my mistake. So I I do apologise for that. So let's have a quick look, see what we got. Now this AI mover, I never actually found a useful use for that because oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, you no, know, it moves uh, block by block you know I suppose you could use it for it, it moves it between hoppers and stuff but to be honest it's uh, cheap and nasty basically uh, so what have we got robot arms yeah mark one not interested in mark ones Matter mover, I mean that is Yeah, we're not gonna use that, that that's just a lot of waste. No use doing this because it doesn't show anything yet. Okay, what have we got? Manual lift control module. Hey, might have a look at this later on. Lift compressor. Yeah, all these nice things that we can do uh, at the moment. All we're doing is building um, conveyor belts. That's really entertaining on a episode that all we're going to be doing is conveyor belts but hey you know once we get one going it ain't gonna be too difficult so where's our conveyor belt okay one two three four i know you can get lost hypothermia because we are not not going to suffer you anymore okay so how many more do we need because we're getting six per shot so what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we need ten more okay so that's gonna be two lots of ten So I could get these going really quicker but yeah no hey right okay so we've got 34 there let's see if we can get some more what have we got so we need 96 for definite
Okay, so there's our 96 there. That's, that's give us one more. Okay. Now we're going to go and have a look at the copper. So, giving us 52 copper so that's enough copper I, I believe we might need a bit more but we're not too sure we're going to go and check on the iron now because um, we've left that a little bit too late I think you know yeah it's got 100 in there look how are we doing on the coal 25 coal on that, so that's not too bad. Let's go up the lift. Let's go and have a look up the lift. See how our crater did. As you can see, it did quite well. I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to have to get some lights up here, obviously. I don't know how high it goes, but it seems a nice um, bit of uh, stuff. You see it goes quite quick. Okay, so we've got five tin there, we've got six. I oh, know it smell so we can put the copper in. Okay, now we're gonna put the copper in. gonna go and get some more tin because we need two lots oh here we get okay we only got ten that's not too bad don't really need their uh, light you know but hey who cares <laughs> okay so we're not getting nothing from there So we may have enough. I don't, well, actually, I don't think we will. Let's get this done. Um, let's go and get some more tin. Like I said, when you do this, you've got to be careful that you don't destroy the connecting block. So try and be very careful where you mine. Okay, that's the last load there. And again, the dreaded hypothermia. Okay. It's a six copper. Okay. 
Right, so we're going to go down and get a hopper from the, um, not from the iron, from the lift room, because we're not using that lift room now, because um, we are okay on that. Then you can't see like a ghost thing. Oh well, you sort of can, but you can't. You can't see how much you're going up. So what we're going to be doing is this is the coal one. This is the one that's in the um, ore. So we're going to take this one away because we're going to need that hopper in a minute, and we can always make another one. I'm not sure how high this ghost thing goes don't well we'll just have to wait and see hopefully it won't go all the way up too much but you can see that it looks cool and it, it does it does it does um, a good job I think right so we've got the tin we're gonna start the copper off Actually, we're not going to add the copper on because I haven't got enough to start doing that. We are now going to place the hopper, and the hopper needs to be placed so you can see it. So, okay, so we're going to play. Not do that. Sorry. Uh, up. And we're going to place the hopper there. Okay, so eventually the. It's going to go into go into here, and it should start doing automatically. Now, the horrible thing is we can't see the smelter because it's the wrong way around. So let's go and get our copper. Okay, so we've got 56. Do we have enough? 89, not quite. Now we do. Okay, so we can now go back up, finish off the last few um, bits for the conveyor belt, and then we can let loose on the conveyors because this will be our first automation for tin okay so you can see it's six bars there so it's done that yeah so we're going to put the copper in And hopefully this won't take too long. And now I think for the rest of this, the episode, we'll actually go hunting and we'll let the tin build up a bit. I do really really on hard mode for this hypothermia you get it an awful lot you know it's, it's so much more than what uh, we we're normally doing now as you can see the copper bars going into the hopper because we haven't set it right okay so what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to change this now to Add only, I believe it is. You can check in a minute because that copper bar should not disappear. No, 
right, so that means we've got that set wrong. That should be remove only. So now that copper bar should stay there. Should stay there. There we go, we've now got it set correctly, okay? So take those out. Okay, and here we go folks. I hope you've got your champagne out, got the bottle of wine out, what it is that we do, we're gonna do is look at this. We are going to start automation of tin. Now we're gonna rotate that one, we're gonna put that one in there. Now we know that one's there, okay. We're gonna wait until this iron is done. Okay, and then we are going to check, see how it goes. Okay. And don't forget guys, I did say that I will be trying to do the live streaming as well. On Steam, see how that goes. Not sure how that goes. Not sure that's what's requested, but we will be looking into that. Okay, there we go. Now we are now going to go and turn on our. Ore. Now you can see we have got 40 ore there, so what we're going to do is in 3, 2, 1, there we go, there's our ore going look, yeah, let's go and check it around the conveyor belt system, this is what we were testing for, is it going to work, it should do. There we go, up and around, and down, and there we go. It's done it, look guys. And that's how you get around a corner, over a laser, without a hopper. And now the ultimate test for us, yeah. Is, we're gonna see, we've got 99 slots there. Now, is it going to go into here? Because it might not be facing the right way. Is this on the right way? Remove only. Okay, so that's not working. Okay, so we're going to have to take that off. Okay, because it's not going in, so we've got to see why it's not going in. And we are going to. do something here I don't know if we can do it so we're going to put the hopper down here which is next to it yeah and we're going to change it to oops sorry to add only we're going to put the tin in okay Not 
sure if that was right or not. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to turn this conveyor the other way at the moment. I'm going to go and put the tin in. Um, T. That's copper. Right, so we're going to put that the right way round. Now it does say 16. So we're going to have a look. See how it goes. There you go. Okay, as soon as it's got 16, it will automatically do it. Now you'll notice that it won't add any more than 16 now, but it's constantly going to go. So, the next thing for us to do is have an out, okay? Now, we can't put an out here, because sure if it's going to go in there but I'm going to try and keep it the same so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to put that there and we're going to do remove only Oop, didn't want that one uh, what was it uh, e for toggle Remove only down. That's add only. That's remove only. Right, let's take these out. Now you can see that the conveyor belt isn't being used fully because it we're only getting like two at a go. But that's because of the speed of the drill head, okay? It's 14, so 16 will come in a minute. You can see it's awfully slow. But you can see we've got it going okay so now the next thing guys is we're going to get conveyor belt ready to go along here okay but the main thing is to get this thing working okay so we know that that's working okay because it, it, it's now smelting yeah you can see the efficiency down there as well <laughs> now if you press R to reset the efficiency goes back to 100 but over time it will go back to what um, you're going to be able to do so you can see what is going to be good and what is going to, what isn't and you can see we've got 95% 79% efficiency okay so let's see we're still not getting it in the right place we're still not getting it in the right thing so Let's 
That's add only, and that's remove only. Let's change this to unless I can't see it going there. Let's change this one to. Add and remove. See our efficiency is very low at the moment. Okay, so we're now smelting the ore. The efficiency is going up. Now it's still not going in the right place and that 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 is annoying so I don't know whether that's a bug or whether I've got the setting wrong or something like that I'll have to go and check on my other player world We are getting the tin bars. Unless that is remove only. Let's see if it's remove only. Yeah, so remove only is working there.
let's change that one to add only there we go right okay so you can now see that it's got 99 slots free so the way it's got to be set up guys doesn't matter what side it's on on the um, ore smelter but you need the hopper that's going in to the ore smelter needs to be remove only and the hopper that you're going to take out of is going to be add only okay so that's it that that's how you set it up now we are on this we are making a move on this as you can see look we, we've got it going we've got it sorted what we now need to do is to get this going a bit more and we need to make another hopper for fuel here because I want to turn these around because I want to make power coming out of here all the time and all that blah 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 we're going to make the coal come down here at the same time we're going to make it kick off as well so it separates and it goes round to um, this part yeah into a hop around here so it's going to be very tight for a while until we can make the gun to move this okay but this is the only smell that we're going to be using at the moment so let's go and get um, let's just go and check everything we've got 82 there uh, let's just go and check to make sure that we've got everything okay so that looks like that hopper is full does that mean the iron will be full as well don't forget we can now mix these so we can just put in what we need to smelt and it will automatically take it out okay and again I don't think we need any more iron for the time being we are going to need a second uh, another hopper so we will go for that hopper actually no we won't because what I'm going to do is jump off of here and what we're going to do if we're not using this yeah is I'm going to take this away alright we're going to take the hopper away we're not using that at the moment so let's go back up we know how that's that's doing we are going to go and get the macerator done but we are going to get the coal done so we're going to need a few more um conveyor belts so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get them done for this episode. I'm not sure how many we got so we can just get everything nice and sorted. We're gonna put the coal back here and where's the hopper? Okay so there's our, our hopper there. Yeah so we're going to need to go around the back of these yeah. yeah because what we need to do now is we need to make a filter which is a conveyor belt filter and this has got lithium in it which I didn't realize uh, so this isn't, isn't going to be done this episode but we will get the conveyor belts uh, ready now what the filter belt will do is that when it comes to a, a filter a belt here yeah it will kick it off to a different direction now if I remember correctly you need a hopper ok 
okay so it can kick out and you need two filters okay you can't have one you need two so this is going to be a little bit of work but I think it's going to be worth doing it so I'm going to put for now it going off there so we can go around here and put our ore in there and we're going to start filtering our coal ore into here we're going to be one two we're not going to do it until we've got the bits and pieces that we need because we need quite a few to go around here but then what it means is that this is going to be working full this is going to be working full and this is going to be powering up there instead which I, I think will be better because we can go down and, and power the um, copper and stuff like that now if we want to add other stuff because we haven't got it yeah what you do is instead of opening up your inventory go to your um, all which you want to go in and smelt which is obviously going to be copper and press T now you can see that copper we're going we've got 100 copper because obviously that is smelting tin and what that will do is keep that going okay so, so we can add it now see and what it does is even though it's got tin in here yeah because it needed that tin it will um, do the tin first and it won't do the copper what I'm hoping to show is once it's done that tin it should switch over to copper and there you go you can see it's now switched over to copper because that is the next one that is going okay so we can always do that and you can see that this has got um, tin in it yeah it, it, it's that simple so what we're going to look at is hopefully for the next episode is we're going to look at the conveyor belt filter so we need some lithium bars uh, it's, it's not going to take long to, to make it to be honest let me just get some power because I'm going to get hypothermia again ok uh, so yeah we'll have a look at this filter ok the conveyor belt filter because we want coal coming down so we can turn the power around so we can have it a lot more powerful and uh, going um, better than what it is ok um, or the other thing is we can put the conveyor belt filter on and we can start stockpiling the um, coal I think we might do it the other way just so um, just, just to get it going um, not really sure so these need lots and lots of stuff and we want to have a look at the macerator so what I'm going to do is because we, we've been a lot of boring on doing these conveyors is we're going to quickly just gonna go go and get a little bit more power and we're going to go for a quick scan down the stairs and see if we can find our gold again 
we can find our goal we might be able to find something else now hopefully we've dug stairs down quite a long time we've got down to um, the cold section it's just that I can't get this crystal you need um, a mining head we, we haven't got that one so we're going to change to the um, what's the name later on so this is coming down to the cold section now hopefully we can go as low and quick as we possibly can which is this is the cold scene here you can see that's coming very very quickly hypothermia is very quick here Bot. Let's, let's, let's just dig straight down. I want to get out of this cold section. Okay, I think I'm out of the cold section. This hypothermia is not uh, doing us anymore. So we're now going to ping. Yeah, yeah, we've got lots of stuff there. And look, we got we got some there. Can we, can we get there before we die? Before it goes? for another pin. Yes. So what is this that we've got? We've got something guys. I, I can't see what it is. I know we're gonna die. Okay. We're going to die, we're going to get there. Hopefully we have got enough to get our macerator on the point. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it do its hypothermia a bit. Uh, let's see, can we climb back out and die even quicker? It doesn't really matter whether we die any quicker because... I can't see a flipping thing where we're going. Alright, it doesn't matter. We're, we're dead anyway by the look of it. Which is good because that's what we want. We want to be dead. Okay, so that will kick us back up to the surface. So we've got something here, have we got enough for our macerator? Right, so value is 20. So, oh, titanium ore. That's wonderful. So, but what we've got now is we've got enough points for our macerator. So we're going to research that, okay. We've got anything else on black box? No. So now let's have a look at the manufacturing plant. Uh, let's have a look at our macerator and our macerator. What do we do? Oh, look at that! That's absolutely fantastic. Couple of iron gears, servo motors, lightweight um, housing, and we're going to have our macerator on. Now I do know that the macerator needs power, same as what the other guy does, but it chews up all that horrible rock that we collect okay so that is going to be absolutely fantastic for us because I'm going to show you in the next episode what we're going to have 
uh, what we're going to do with that okay so this is HMK have fun stay safe don't forget to check out the forum boards don't forget to check out the official forum board the fan forum board keep coming keep viewing don't forget to hit that like button I've got 169 people if I can get 10 likes from you for this episode that would be absolutely wonderful for me guys it helps my channel it lets me know whether you like these series or not it lets me know whether you want me to carry on making them don't forget as the devs bring out more updates we'll do more new seasons or we will stay in the season that we've got and we will say right okay bang boom there we go and we will carry on as we are but do hit that like button okay thanks very much have fun stay safe this is HMK signing off sayonara Bye-bye.